welcome to the Accounts Payable 3-Way Matching Demo. This video will demonstrate a UiPath robot ingesting invoices from multiple sources, validating the invoice data against purchase orders in SAP, validating the invoice data against goods receipts in NetSuite, and finally inputting the data into Workday should the invoice pass both previous checks. Should an invoice fail either validation against purchase order or validation against goods receipt, a follow-up task will be created in Action Center to allow an agent to determine the appropriate action, typically sending an email back to the vendor. To begin, we see three locations from which the robot will ingest data. An Outlook inbox, a box cloud storage location, and a shared network folder. The robot starts by aggregating the invoices into a working directory. In order to do so, the robot leverages a direct integration with the Outlook desktop client to pull in the email data, and UiPath's integration service to pull in the box data through an API connection. The robot proceeds by opening up SAP so that it can look up the purchase order identified from the first invoice. After navigating to the purchase order, the robot then begins comparing each line item of the invoice against the line items in the purchase order. For the sake of demonstration, the robot also highlights the matches green. With the purchase order matching successful, the robot now proceeds to NetSuite to perform the goods receipt lookup. The robot searches the purchase order number in NetSuite and navigates through the appropriate screens to find the good receipt. Upon finding the goods receipt, the robot does a similar match, now comparing the received quantity against the invoiced quantity. Again, the robot highlights the matches green for demonstration purposes. Finally, the robot proceeds to Workday to input the invoice. The robot opens up the invoice entry task and begins filling in the document level data, including the invoice date, invoice number, purchase order number, and finally, the line items themselves. With the first invoice submitted into the system, the robot proceeds to the second invoice. Again, the robot opens SAP and rapidly looks up the appropriate purchase order to compare the line items contained. In this case, we notice that the robot is highlighting red as it has identified a number of mismatches between the recorded price in the purchase order to the invoiced price. Due to this mismatch, the robot does not proceed to process the invoice, instead creating a task in Action Center for later processing by a user. Meanwhile, the robot has looked up the third invoice in SAP, and, finding the data a match, is now proceeding to NetSuite. Here, the robot again looks up the goods receipt via the purchase order number. However, we see that no goods receipt exists for this purchase order. As such, this invoice is also kicked out for follow-up by the agent. With the robot processing complete, we now move on to Action Center, where an agent can see the tasks corresponding to the two erroneous invoices received. The first task lists the line items with the amount on the purchase order compared to the invoiced amount, and we can see the disparity. The agent is given the option to either accept the invoice as is, which could then be routed to a supervisor for approval, or kick it back to the supplier requesting this to be fixed. The same goes for the second task, now showing the invoiced quantity compared to the quantity received. As no goods receipt was found, the quantity received is zero. Again, the agent is given the option to either accept the invoice as is, or follow the more likely case of kicking the invoice back to the supplier with a comment. In both of these cases, the tight integration between Action Center and the unattended robot allows the robot to either continue the process should the finance agent decide to do so, or send or draft an email on the agent's behalf. This concludes the Accounts Payable 3-Way Matching Demo. Thank you for watching.